Hello to all students. I am Professor Masood Fuzel. Today we are going to discuss fungus like protists. As you know that kingdom protista include all the organisms which are excluded from other three kingdoms, other like kingdom fungi, kingdom plantae, and kingdom animalia. Kingdom protista include all the organisms relating to different kingdoms. And one of them is king, uh, fungus like protist. Fungus like protist were included in kingdom fungi due to their heterotrophic nature because they cannot synthesize their own food with the help of photosynthesis and they having plant body which is made up of thread like structure known as hyphae. So due to these two reasons uh, scientists have initially grouped fungus like protest into kingdom fungi but later on uh, latest study suggested that these are not actual fungi because there were some differences between fungi and fungus like protest and what were the difference number one uh, they have uh, centrioles while fungi do not have centriole and uh, fungus like protest uh, have cell wall made up of cellulose which is a component of plant cell wall and while, while fungi has cell wall made up of chitin. So because of these two similar differences, uh, these fungus like protist has been excluded from the kingdom fungi and put into the kingdom prototista. So here are two different uh, similarities between fungi. Number one, they are heterotroph and number two, they have made up of their plant bodies made up of hyphae. The differences are they have centrioles while fungi do not have centrioles they have cell wall made up of cellulose while plants have uh, while fungi has cell wall made up of chitin so these uh, uh, two reasons uh, uh, because of these two reason these fungus like protists have been to grouped into fungus like protist into kingdom prototista today we are going to discuss uh, only two groups of fungus like protist one is myxomycota and while other is oomycota so first of all we are going to discuss myxomycota myxo means slime slime is a substance which is very sticky in appearance and uh, mycota means fungus yeah fungus like organism so that is why we call them myxomycota the other name for myxomycota is slime molds the best example uh, we are going to study today is uh, uh, physarum polykephalum physarum polykephalum is a uh, scientific name of the organism which we are going to study today if we look at the plant body of Physarum polykephalum, its plant body is known as Plasmodium. Plasmodium is also known as its feeding stage. It, it is composed of multinucleate cytoplasmic projections. It is a, a, a usually a single cell plant body, but uh, it has multinucleus, multinuclei. So this is a multinuclei you can see in the diagram and its cytoplasm streams over damp and decaying organic matter and logs and litter during feeding stage uh, its uh, cytoplasm grows uh, up to 30 centimeter or one feet and can grow into uh, much valuable mass during feeding when it creeps along uh, uh, decaying logs and litter it feeds on bacteria yeast and other microorganisms present in the dead and decaying organic matter and litter surface during favorable condition it can uh, increase its uh, cytoplasm uh, very fast but uh, during unfavorable condition it starts to produce spores during unfavorable condition its uh, mass start to uh, de develop a kind of uh, stocked structure which is known as sporangia later on this stocked structure become like this one and its uh, uh, plasmodium is reduced these stock structure contain a sac like structure which is contain which is known as sporangium or sporangia in sporangia uh, during the process of meiosis many haploid spores are produced after the spores are produced during unfavorable condition they are dis uh, the sporangium breaks up and spores are released from the sporangium with the help of wind these spores are dispersed in to different in different places of, of uh, on land when conditions become favorable in the next coming season which is a, a some summer season uh, these spores uh, germinate into two different types of cells some spores germinate into biflagellated cells which are also known as reproductive cells one of 
them you can call as a male gamete while other is known as female the both cells are haploid and have two flagella while some spores can also germinate into amoeboid cells which are amoeba like and they are known as swarm cells these swarm cells are also haploid in nature later on these uh, biflagellated cell or amoeboid swarm cells fuse with each other which is known as syngamy during the process of fusion the the syngamy takes place which is syn mean union gamy mean gametes uh, it is just like a union of male and female gametes after syngamy these cells develop into diploid zygote this zygote develops into again divides uh, mitotically and develop into a new plasmodium and new plant body of the physarum polycephalum so this is the life cycle of a, a myxomycota today we are going uh, to discuss uh, its importance uh, because of its rapid uh, propagation and rapid uh, cytoplasmic movement we are studying its uh, different components in the labs uh, first of all we are uh, studying uh, the growth pattern of uh, myxomycota how they can grow very fast the second uh, is differentiation how its cells differentiate with the passage of time the third is cytoskeleton um, how the uh, cytoskeleton is involved in the amoeboid movement of this uh, plasmodium feeding stage of the myxomycota and the last one we are also studying streaming movement of the cytoplasm how streaming movement takes place in the cytoplasm of the myxomycota the second group we are today uh, today we are going to discuss is uh, oomycota oomycota are also known as water molds the most important uh, or infamous uh, is, uh, species is phytophthora infestans phytophthora infestans has very infamous role in the history and especially in the ireland it is uh, if we are talking about uh, 1840s 19th century in ireland uh, the most uh, uh, staple food of the ireland pheasant was potato as you know in different uh, parts of the world there are different types of staple foods which uh, on which uh, different countries rely on for example in india and pakistan uh, uh, wheat rice and corn are very staple foods and without these food Uh, people will die to starvation and it is the same uh, uh, potato uh, crop was very staple food for the pheasant of the ireland during uh, 1840s uh, some very rainy summers and cool summers uh, this fungus like protist which is known as phytophthora infestans multiplied and uh, grow grew in unchecked and it attacked all the plants to understand this concept i have just taken a cross section of a leaf of a potato plant this is the cross section of a leaf these are mesophyll cells which are involved in the photosynthesis process there is lower epidermis of the uh, potato leaf and which contains stomata the hyphae of phytophthora infestans uh, uh, multiplied very fast very uncontrolled manner they went they grew into the mesophyll cells of the potato crops and sucks all the uh, sap from the cells and causing a disease which is known as late blight of potato and in this due to this disease all the plants present in the fields were rotten and potatoes uh, in the soil are also rotten and uh, due to this uh, a very very huge amount of crop has been destroyed and this caused a very big famine in the history of ireland uh, more than 250000 to 1 million people has been died due to this irish potato famine and many more uh, are uh, went migrated to united states and canada and some other countries of the world so due to these uh, uh, diseases late blight of potato this phytophthora infestans have very infamous role in the history of the ireland so in this way today we have uh, uh, studied uh, some important uh, groups of uh, uh, fungus like protist one is beneficial while other is very harmful usually they are harmful for crops and other plants which are very beneficial to human being uh, hopefully see you in the next lecture bye